Welcome back, everyone. Dr. Cratch is back with us this week. Last week, we talked about symptoms in your body, saying, hey, stupid, I got you got some issues. <laughs> I'm, I'm paraphrasing, obviously. But, <laughs> that's the uh, way your body talks to you. <laughs> that's, the way, that's the way my body talks to me. But I'll, you know, whether you ignore those or whether you actually make a difference. The thing you were talking about this week was maybe there's some things in your diet, some foods that might be causing some issues, right? Listen, I have to tell you, that was pretty close to 100%. Remember we yeah. talked about the Saley response, the general adaptation formula? Sure. When we're younger, again, typically in our teens, we'll put something in our body, our body doesn't like it, it will respond, but it might respond with whatever, a little belch or burp or right. something, and we're like, we literally don't notice it. It's yeah. not like we're alarmed, we don't notice it. Yeah. But now you get into maybe your late 20s, 30s, you might get away with it till your 40s, not usually. No. And now your body gets louder. You're bloated with certain foods. You you have problems eliminating. You're belching a lot. You've got heartburn. You've got acid reflux. It's such a good point because I you think to yourself, you just be able to eat this all the time. What's the issue That's here? Right. Your yeah. body didn't like it originally, yeah. but it gets louder on you, yeah. right? So now these are things you notice, but again, we're stubborn and we're busy, so right. we dismiss it. Later on, now again, later on could be 40s, 50s, 60s your body will get loud on you, yeah. okay? So we talked last week about one of the first symptoms to show up when your body has an issue with food is respiratory. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason you have respiratory issues show up is because of histamines, okay? So histamines are chemicals in your immune system that your immune system makes, but you can also get histamines externally okay. as well, okay? So what I really, I wanna really focus in on my notes because I wanna make sure that I say this correctly. Foods that contain histamines, okay? Aged cheeses, alcohol, anchovies, avocados, cider, dried fruits, eggplant, fermented foods, mackerel, mushrooms, processed meats. Now, again, people are going, well, I don't really want to give that up. Right. Okay, well, it's a choice. We're all adults, yeah. right? If you're finding that you've got those respiratory issues, coughing, uh, sneezing, um, shortness of breath, burping, belching, this could be yeah, where that's that coming lives, from, yeah. right? Um Foods that cause mucus or can cause mucus to thicken. Everybody pretty much knows about milk, sure. but cabbage, corn, excess salt, and foods that can cause the body to produce histamine, bananas, chocolate, eggs, papaya. Now again, people are going, I'm not gonna be able to eat anything. No, no, this is all about listening to your body. Okay, okay this is about put that food in, pay attention. Notice the symptom first. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago, getting that health questionnaire, that assessment, so you can see what's going on with your body, sure. noticing, and then putting a certain food in and see what happens. You're not going to have to eliminate all foods. Your body's got an issue with one or two foods. Sometimes it's a type of food, but not usually. It's usually very specific. Okay. And if we'll listen to our body and pay attention to the foods that could be causing that particular symptom, we can control it feel amazing, even lose some weight as a byproduct, right. but live a long, wonderful life because our immune system is so high. Yeah, well, that makes so, there's so much logic to that. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Sal. Good seeing you. Don't go away, we'll be back right after this.